Shiraz one more time. Show some love on Tang to it. And how? You saw me? I don't know that was reason. Show me your dance. Show me your dance. Show me your dance. Show me your dance. And how? back to my hotel room. <laughs> so nice to be here at my first show after my divorce. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know why a lot of African people feel sorry for you when you say you got divorced. I lost a man, not a lamb. <laughs> He's just an ex-husband, not a kidney. <laughs> and we must stop this thing of pretending that all marriages are good. It's not always good. Most marriages are like TK Maxx. <laughs> Looks good from the outside. Good shop with designer brands, but when you get in, you know you have to sort through the shit. Sometimes you get them designer shoes, but they're not the same size. <laughs> Walking around with red bottoms, one shoe is a size 6, one is a size 7. <laughs> I felt so good when I walked out of the divorce court. Finally, I understood what Mandela went through. When he finally walked out of Robben Island prison after 27 years. Only difference is that he had his fist up, I had mine down. Free at last. Freedom at last. <laughs> we should stop hanging on to things that do not matter. And you'll be happy to know, my brothers and sisters, that that guy I divorced was a white British guy. <laughs> and I did not disappoint you. I made sure I get that British passport before I left you. <laughs> I don't know what it is about being married to British people. It's all good until the day you get your red passport. <laughs> then you start thinking about Sarafina, who killed Shala Zulu? <laughs> when are they bringing the land back? And for some reason they start looking ugly. And he didn't believe it because we were sitting having dinner and he said, Darling, you know how I promised you that this year if you don't cheat on me, I'm going to do anything you want. I said, yes, darling, I want a divorce. <laughs> and his mama called me a gold digger. I said, yes, ma'am, I am. I'm from South Africa. I come from a long line of mine workers. Thanks to apartheid. But the hardest thing about being divorced at my age is now I have to look again. Not easy. All the men my age are pre-owned. I'm never gonna get a brand new one at my age. Even if I do, it worries me because how come nobody wanted him? between being with a younger guy with no baby mama drama but he's broke <laughs> or being with a rich man who has to report to his ex-wife or baby mama whenever we need to take a holiday to arrange childcare and it's not easy and I don't like men with exes
because I'm not a good ex. I'm an annoying ex. Just last week, I bumped into my ex-husband with his current girlfriend. And I said to them, wow, you look good with him. You look exactly the way I did when I was with him. Miserable. And then I said, nice pajamas. Ladies, you know, it's, in, it's our inherent right. It's in our blood to be mean to the current girlfriend of our exes. We can forgive the toxic man, but not the woman. We just can't. And the one thing that I really hate about my ex-husband is that he got the best years of my titties. <laughs> got them when they were nice and firm like golf balls and now they just like tea bags. <laughs> That's the only thing I regret. Everything else I'm fine with. I'm fine with the stretch marks because I've seen brothers with stretch marks. <laughs> At least I carried a baby for nine months. What's your excuse, sir? <laughs> for Wonder Bra and for Tommy Tuck underwear. <laughs> I don't even mind getting home and taking off my Tommy Tuck underwear and brushing my Jojo tape. Because <laughs> if he wanted to date someone with a flat tummy, he should have dated a snake. <laughs> but it's not easy. Because the last time I dated, we had to go out and meet people. And now people are just meeting on internet. I have to join Tinder to meet men. Back in the day, we used to judge men based on the jobs they had and the cars they drove. Now you must they, uh, check them out and you must judge them based on the slides that they follow on social media. And it's not easy. And I'm too old to lie. New relationships are not easy. Men ask some annoying questions. There's a lot of pretense in new relationships. They ask things like, Sir, which sign are you most compatible with? The pound sign and the dollar sign? And then they like to ask stupid things like, how many men have you been with? <laughs> Excuse me, do you want good sex or what? <laughs> do you think the Nigerian football team just got good at what they do by not having a coach? <laughs> they had to go through a lot of coaches <laughs> and a lot of training. So just accept the good sex and stop asking me stupid questions. And people judge me. I'm like, oh, she comes on stage and she drinks. Not my fault. <laughs> I blame the white people. They came to Africa, we were chilling. I could have been somebody's third wife. But they decided to bring us education. And according to my chemistry teacher, alcohol is the solution. <laughs> to think they're giving you good advice when they tell you stupid things like maybe you and your ex-husband will get back together. Maybe you'll get back together. No, we won't. Because getting back with your ex is the same as going to the charity shop to buy back the clothes that you gave them. <laughs> And those who should be divorcing, I am available. But I'm not those ladies who want to please you.
soon as I get home, this comes up. Thank you very much, my name is Tejan. Subscribe to the AYTV channel on YouTube and Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at AYComedian.